We're given vector a in component form and asked to find the magnitude of vector a. Sometimes you'll see the symbol for magnitude expressed like this, as well as like this with two pair of parallel bars. When we have a vector in component form, or this form here, to find the magnitude or length, we use this formula here, which is just an extension of the distance formula that we used in two dimensions. The magnitude of vector v is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared, where a, b, and c are the x, y, and z components of the vector. Before we find the magnitude of vector a, though, let's take a look at the graph of vector a in space. Again, because it's in component form, the initial point will be at the origin. The terminal point will be at the point two, comma, negative four, comma, six. Here's the graph of vector a. Notice how the initial point is at the origin, and when we find the magnitude of this vector, we're determining the length of this vector from the initial point at the origin to the terminal point here. So the magnitude of vector a will be equal to the square root of two squared plus negative four squared plus six squared. So this would give us the square root of four plus sixteen plus thirty-six. So this is equal to the square root of twenty plus thirty-six or fifty-six. And we should simplify this. So we want to find the perfect square factors of fifty-six. If we can't just look at this to determine the perfect square factors, we can always find the prime factorization of fifty-six. 56 is equal to eight times seven, and eight is equal to four times two. Seven is prime, two is prime, and four is equal to two times two. So the prime factorization of 56 would be three factors of two and a factor of seven. Every time we have two equal factors, we have a perfect square factor, notice two squared or four is a perfect square factor of fifty-six, and therefore this does simplify. The square root of two squared or the square root of four is equal to two, so this simplifies to two square root fourteen. But let's also get a decimal approximation for this value. So two square root fourteen is approximately seven point four eight three three, We can also check to make sure we simplify this correctly by using the calculator to make sure the square root of fifty-six also gives us the same decimal approximation. Let's go ahead and do that as well. So square root fifty-six does give us the same decimal approximation. Now unless the homework says to round, we should give the exact magnitude, which would be two square root fourteen. I hope you found this helpful.